all right well here's some of the traps that I use I use this one a lot right here it's a green reload I'm gonna call it this is a double reload a lot of my traps have healing um, here's some wall launchers you don't need this you do need this it's a zero impact double reload full durability uh, this one is one impact both of these have heals attached you don't necessarily need healing on every one of them but it's nice to have especially if you have a higher durability otherwise just swap it out for durability um, I actually have one with only durability but I marked it as 133 so I know what it is alright got wall lights I don't think I'm using a single wall light in my entire base no, I'm actually not alright um, this dynamo has increased health so I keep collecting my 144 traps pulling them out and recrafting traps until I can fill my inventory with all the different types of traps that I need uh, including like uh, damage traps and stuff like that so I pretty much have all the 144 stuff that I need uh, pre-crafted it might cost some V-Bucks and if you, if you don't have the re-perk then maybe join a discord and get the re-perk that you need to create all the traps that you need and make sure you keep doing your quests and getting the things that you need to get these traps done because traps and heroes in my opinion take priority over anything else your weapons shouldn't be important not until you have the basics for farming and uh, building really uh, having a ninja ninja with uh, triple jump is really nice to build with <coughs> that's what I'll be using Funny, but uh, we'll come back to that in a second. I'll start showing you. <coughs> I think it might be best to start at Valley. Um, so this would be your typical AFK spot-ish area. I'm not doing that. So go ahead and break that, whatever it looks like for you. Um, for my Valley changed up the targets a lot and I've added more targets um, a lava bomb will spawn here but I still want extra targets where the husks are in a path so I've added stuff like this and then for these other targets I've uh, turned them kind of into block off to separate the husks and I have some ramps here where they can separate themselves so that they're not so congested you have your ordinary flinger spot and then so those start one two three one two kind of like a chess piece ale taught me that um, <coughs> I have this structure thing here to uh, make sure the flinger doesn't actually stand right here sometimes he does for me anyways so I built this to push him over into the spots make sure he goes here um, I have all my tiles placed from these locations in a skip a tile format. Skip a tile and place a piece in as many places as you can. Uh, as long as it's not touching another tile, you can have it like this as well. Alright, so there's some ideas for you more target and damage for the flingers this is how I've oriented my floors in the face of uh, my amp 
I have a wooden floor spike here with very low damage. This section right here is more so for lava amp where we're using the geyser uh, for a split path. So I have a geyser build here <coughs> for the ones that want to uh, take this side. It's almost unavoidable but they take a really long path. They don't even walk up here for some reason and I think it's because of the amp design on lava. But uh, yeah, they're going to come here and get knocked onto the platform. The mini boss will continue, and anything close behind them will also follow. Uh, they'll, co they'll come down here, and now they're three tiles above the ground, so the fastest way down is into the geyser where they're going to get popped back up onto the giant platform. It might look pretty big, but uh, you got to consider the fact that we're sharing it with home base, uh, White Walkers, Ramp Amp and white streams AFK UFO um, with personal modifications extra targets to ensure that the amplifier doesn't get destroyed and that's also why I don't put a floor right here because uh, there's just so many structures alright so in your typical uh, valley spot what happens with most of them is that they'll actually just temporarily come to you stand underneath you, a lot of them. The smashes will stay until they despawn, but with my AFK spot, it's over here uh, by home base. Uh, they're going to do the same thing, temporarily walk to me. Um, so they're uh, probably about 60% of everything that spawns on Valley is just going to walk straight onto this path and not really aggro this wall. It's only like one or two husk types that want to come to this wall. So everything is going to jump onto this platform. Everything from uh, ramp amp here, we're pathing them to the back of the amplifier and pushing them onto this platform as well. <coughs> I've eliminated like any structures that were down here, uh, pathing them back up from the geyser, like a false pathway. And there's also zero structures in these caves. Um, these, this cave we're actually using for home base. I'll get to that. But just keep in mind this path for home base. That's where I place some of the husks. And uh, they, they want a path back up this way where they get hit by white walkers, ramp amp, and placed onto the platform. So I'm going to go back to valley here and just show you how to build it. How I built it. Three walls, increased build health on these two, and just healing on this one. Uh, you can do a five impact or a four impact with reload on this wall launcher. Uh, it's best to alternate from what you have on this here with the reload times. So I have a four impact wall launcher, and that that will push them onto my platform. And then all of these floor launchers are full impact, the way I have them oriented here. Uh, a mist pod can spawn here, which is okay. Um, the floor launcher will just go and we'll still have everything else and he the, the mini bosses, mist pods are all going to go into the geyser. A couple of them do a TP loop dance depending on what kind of husk type it is, but everything including the smashers goes straight to the geyser and nothing will despawn, so it'll be a complete ghost town over here nearing the end of the waves. Um, so up here is just like this. Make sure you have these eight pillars and the four arches. Down here I have this completely wrapped with increased building health. This here is for the flingers. It's block off for flingers at ramp amp and also a flinger spot at ramp amp if they get knocked down there. Otherwise this is the main flinger spot for ramp amp uh, where they run around the open path at beach <coughs> that I have there and they climb up here and, and then die. Okay so you wrap this whole thing up with increased building health all the way around and inside this thing the floor is edited like this like this. There's a wall here also with increased building health and the other floor is edited like this underneath these three uh, cones. 
that are edited like this. And then this one is just a cone like this. The reason they're like this is because of a mist pod. If he spawns here, you're still going to have a layer. And for the pros who know, this is where the uh, flingers throw their... Well, it hits here first and then the they want to try to break in at the computer. And that's this thing. It's on every amplifier. So we block that off. And then all these structures around it, like this, are making the smashers and the propane go to us. I have this exact design on hill amp, I have it on my bridge amp, which is my F, and I have this design also on my devil amp. And what that does is bring the propane and the smashers and a couple other things just go directly to you, instead of actually going to the target walls. There's very, very many other amp designs, and we'll go over some of those in a bit. I just want to make sure that I get everything here before we move on. So triangles all the way around the bottom up to the full walls that we mentioned here on the uh, beach side, <laughs> east. And I put gas traps anywhere a husk is going to stand still because uh, they just do the most damage where they're standing still. I never put a gas trap somewhere they're just going to walk by it, not even on a, a wooden floor spike. Never do it. <coughs> um, got some double reload nature zappers. And then, again here, they sometimes like to try to break this, so I have a gas trap as well. With a heavier crit build. You can do effectoration, but I don't think it's necessary because they're they're just standing underneath it anyways. Effectoration, they'll just keep getting ticks when they're past it. So you can just have um, whatever you want on there. More durability if you're low. It doesn't matter. Nothing really stands here anymore for me. Um, okay, so for this weird platform, we're going to maybe... Uh, start with uh, yeah start right here and put eight floors and then ramp up and then place more floors one two three four five six seven eight the reason I have all these floors here is because uh, if you put your base down here it gets really like this is where everything comes from every single amplifier except for beach so there's a lot of traffic here, so if this wall breaks, and then this wall breaks, and this floor breaks, there's a chance that more stuff will break, and they'll break this ramp, and then your whole thing will fail. So, I don't know, base is recommended if you're going to be completely AFK. Just place it uh, right here, and then pictures and make a Mac grinder right here. So for this AFK spot, um, guys there. This wall here is a level 77 increased build health, no damage. Uh, that looks like um, that. I, I don't even know where it is, but uh, it's all durability. No damage, just increased build health. And behind there, I have a cone, and then they phase sometimes. So I put a heels attached broadside with double reload, just in case. So for this ramp here, um, if you're moving around up there, then there's a chance a smasher will charge at you. A smasher will only charge at you at three tiles distance, but when he hits a geyser, He's going to see you and then the charge thing will happen and uh, while he's charging this ramp can break eventually if, if you have a bunch of people up there messing around. 
Um, normally I'll just stand still in one spot and let them just cycle in the geyser and that way they won't despawn. Uh, the closer you are to the path here, the more likely they're not going to stand underneath you and they're actually going to try to path to you because they think there's a way to you. So I'll explain that right here. So from here, I build another box on top of it like that for base connectivity. Uh, so I could just place my base right here. This is the secondary path up to me for the assassins. And then for other husks, this is the path up to the land. This here is a lava shield because I'm pathing my ridge husks underneath this in this little cave area that doesn't seem to get used by anybody so I wanted to use it. Um, <coughs> so this should pretty much cover the AFK spot uh, right here. I'll get more into detail with it when I'm doing home base which will be after this valley platform system because it's the most complex part I believe. Okay, so here's the AFK spot. I stand here. You can have this like this. You can have it open if you want. Um, close it. I have a defender here. Overpowered with two crit rating perks and then I give her a bundle bus with three crit damage perks and damage. And that should obliterate any taker that uh, tries to get at you. But I would recommend just pop in a window there, stand here and watch everything happen while you're AFK right next to your home base, mat grinding, whatever you want man. Okay, so from that eighth tile ramp up like this until you get to here. All I'm doing is going four tiles high above each floor. You can see right there that's where it starts to ridge down so that's where I start to ramp down. The only spot that I have open over here is where this geyser is. It's how I get back to my AFK spot from running around. And this is also for home base, where the husks get thrown into. Where they either hit this ramp up here and then land on this platform, or they just keep bouncing up and down until they uh, take that cave path back around and then get launched onto the platform. It's really fun. <coughs> So that's that side of things. Um, so for my ridge path down here, this is my amp design. It's just two walls placed right here. What this does uh, with nothing around my amp at all makes the mini boss come down here, break one of them, and then he used to go in the geyser, but uh, I don't know what I did. I, I think it had to do with me editing this ramp like this instead of being full. But um, if you do that, then you're definitely going to need a base here. Uh, because if this little wall breaks and then you have a full ramp here, this pathway back up um, can be accessed from here. So Toadless told me to uh, do this, so I did it. and it. Uh, the man does not lie. Alright, so this is the path back up, that's the path to me. Here's the ridge amp. Here's the ridge path. Um, how they get to this path is pretty simple. <coughs> we just send them all to the uh, west side, like normal. Uh, I might as well start up here, at the back of ridge. This is where the whole build began for me anyways. So to shift the lava bomb into some uh, tasty positions, uh, place eight floors like this back to back underneath here and th that should shift the lava bomb every time for you, either up here, up here, or down here. Um, right now I'm testing this White Walker style lava shield. Um, as soon as I did that, for some reason they started attacking this wall. I don't know if that's build glitch or what do you want to call that, but it just happened to me yesterday while I was testing it. But uh, 
if it really doesn't work, I'll just go back to my old build. I was just saving structures. It's not a lot. <laughs> but, you know, okay, so this guy has heels attached uh, just to tickle them and make them move on. This guy's uh, full impact, pushing them out. These are all green reload with heels attached. Um, there's floors underneath here. These ones I've edited out here and here. These two in particular. All the other ones are edited out here. These other three. The the four. Or actually three, sorry. So it's actually seven floors that are back to back. This one is reverse edited to ensure that the lava bomb is going to land in this little spot here. I've seen people actually shift the bomb down here. It's pretty interesting and if, it, if it's stable then I'd recommend trying that and you can get some more layers in here. But uh, I don't like messing around too much, especially around here and I'm pretty sure you know what I'm talking about. So these two are also going to ensure that the lava bomb goes into this box. So it's going to be two back-to-back uh, -back floors uh, sorry like this and then like this yo Aiden what's up and these are some more green reload I had some phasing issues in the past so I have uh, increased no that's, that's just heels attached and then this one's increased build health okay so we come to here so after the two lava bomb shifts gonna go one, two, three, four more floors, and then one, two more. And this is where we're gonna kill whatever gets past this recycling system. So it's a zero impact wall launcher, zero impact wall launcher, pushing them down into there. Uh, zero or one impact, and then make sure that this one's at least three impact for smashers in case they get here if they spawn which they will on wave 5 so yeah go ahead and do that so tornado comes here one of the only traps you can place on a floor is a floor launcher and I believe a wooden floor spike so I have a floor launcher here kind of kicking them down onto this platform which is also shared by the devil west assassins and that's why I have all these extra layers right here uh, it's for the Devil West Assassins to encourage them to take the same pathway, which they do. Alright, here's a glimpse of the Devil for now, but it's it's a lot to get into. It's my most expensive build, but basically I'm giving them the option of being sent back into the beach on the north. There's an assassin uh, thing pushing them back as well, but on this exact same platform on the north, assassins, if they want to get closer to me, they can path to the devil to geyser um, system, which is over here, where they get popped down into the pit, into the pit, and into the pit. And behind this thing is their path down. This guy has heels attached, obviously, and then we'll come back to it. Here's the false pathway back up to Devil for the ones that get launched into the pit. And to get here, they have to go through this stuff, where it, which will put them into the geyser. And then from here, they get knocked onto this floor launcher. Um, the only way down is through the sides here, because this here is more than four tiles high. So they're just going to stand on this floor launcher and try to break these walls that have uh, healing attached on each side. Right, and then they're going to get launched into a backboard over the cliff. This backboard is also attached to the false pathway back um, for pit, bridge, and devil so that they're not despawning. That's this pathway, and that's connected um, to, to the exit of the geyser. They have to path through the geyser to get back to their amplifier. Same thing with this one, it's for Pit, but since I made this one, it seems like Pit wants to use this one rather than this one, even though it's closer to the amplifier, mainly blasters uh, and cowboys if they ever get through the geyser system here. Okay, so I'm going to 
try to finish off Ridge for you. This is a massive lobber shield, and what it does is despawn the flingers. It, they just die. Rather than trying to track them and give them a chance to throw, we just kill them by putting a whole bunch of structures here. They're basically the number one enemy in Twine Endurance, for me, anyways. For a lot of you, I'm sure. Can I build it for you if I break? Um, well, what you can do is copy what I'm having, and if you have any questions uh, about uh, the structures that I'm placing, then you can just ask me as we go here. I will not build it for you, that's why I'm doing this tutorial. I'm going to teach everybody how to build it. So the reason that this block off is so thick is not so much because of ridge amplifier, but because of devil north amplifier. What this is going to do is prevent the smashers and the propane from really aggroing here, if the smashers ever do spawn. They're really slow, and even on wave 26, by the time they get here, they might just break one, and then it'll be end of the wave. Uh, so this is going to make the assassins from Devil North actually want to path to a thinner uh, block off, which would be over here at home base where they can get recycled into the geyser. So that, that takes care of Devil North assassins. They're either going to get recycled over there, similar to how we do at Beach. And um, yeah, here's some more block off if you want to get it like this. just a few walls, line it up, make a full layer. You don't have to put any cross walls like this. And I'm willing to bet you could break these little guys here as well, but I just don't want to mess with this. It's been like this for a long time. When you when you finish build some, building something, it's not going to be accurate. It's going to take time for it to register and everything to settle in before it's working properly. So give it some time. Make sure you have everything correct, and um, yeah, if it works for me, it'll work for you. There's certain bugs, but I think there's different stories uh, about what's happening. I, I really don't think everybody's base is different. It's just structures, placement. Okay. So, even though these are two tiles away from the amp, they don't get aggroed by smashers. If the smashers make it past the recycling system, they're going to try to chew on this wall right here and then break the cone behind it. That's just how it works for me here. Um, I did have a wall dart here, which I should put back, but uh, I'll, do it. I'll do it later. I really don't think I need it. Okay, so here's my massive lobber shield. Place a tile here and then go three high, five across, skip this one out, and then four across, bring it back down. This is the flinger shield here, just these roof pieces. Remember there's no actual damage tunnels on this entire build, uh, except for like where we really don't want them, which would be like here, which they rarely get to. You know what? I'm actually going to go ahead and place the tar pit over here. Uh, right here. I've been meaning to do that, I just kept forgetting. You could actually place a level 77 instead of a 130 to not kill them. That was a mistake. But I just don't have the crafting material to do that right now. Anyways, uh, that should probably explain Ridge Amp, Valley, and the AFK spot uh, pretty correctly. You can go ahead and build all these structures 
anytime you like. It's for um, Devil, and it really helps with Pit Amp, making sure that the Smasher's path proper. Okay, f now for this ridge in Devil Amp uh, to work properly, you have to block off this entire cave all the way through. No floors, but wall ramp, wall ramp, all the way to the other side. Otherwise it won't work properly. You can have it lightly blocked off, but um, you'll get some husks here chewing through it. I it'll take them till the end of the game to get all the way through, but there will be a couple fat husks in here punching it. it fully blocked off like that. I don't put a wall here, and I don't put a wall here, or, or anywhere over here, because it's too close to the pit amplifier, and smashers will break all that block off if you have anything here, 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 or anywhere near your amplifier. You want all that stuff on that side. Um, for the pit amplifier amp design, uh, Shadow Gnome recommended that I put a full wall here. So I did that. Pretty cool. It's all working really good. I'm not having any pit issues. I could say in the past 10 games took zero damage. Um, and it's White Walker and Fireburn's pit amplifier. Basically two with T and just some OCD things that I have. I'm just I'm not really good at copying other builds and paying attention for long periods of time, so I just uh, learn what I learn and then apply it to um, what I've seen. So I think I got it right on the button. I've made a couple uh, adjustments. This is Fireburn's fix. I have no idea how he thought of this and how it works like it does, but it's freaking genius. Okay, so from here... Uh, skip a wall there because I'm pretty sure smashes will just break it anyways. Um, this is White Walker's stuff. If you want to just take a look at his his tutorial, he doesn't have any wall launchers here. He doesn't have any traps in in all of this. Um, these are for impact with heels attached. And then here's all the block off no floors underneath. I've added. Uh, floor and a wall there and then you know, we shift the bomb into this hole the way I did it just the way I'd normally do it just back it off with floors like this and then like this just those four should do it if you're having problems put another two right here and that will shift your lava bomb you're just going to corner it into whatever box you want as long as it's within its limit And then, um, yeah, make some layering just like this. A wall goes here because Mitch Rob said so. And uh, do it like that. I have increased building health on the bottom of these. Never ever put a ceiling zapper in a place like this. They do not work. They don't go off. They have to be directly on the ground below it for it to do anything. So never use a ceiling zapper in this location. Only reason I have it there is because it has increased build health but I regret doing it and I'm not breaking it because then I I might have the, the build glitch thing. What I would recommend doing is putting anti-air traps on top of it with increased build health and just cover it up with cones because uh, it'll have heels attached and increased build health on the one trap if you even need it. Like I'm just taking extra precautions, I got extra structures so I'm doing it. All right. Um, one of the modifications that I made is just not allowing them to get uh, knocked into the lava in this little little tiny spot. I just don't want to kill anything. And uh, uh, my thing is different here too. So in order for me to be able to cover up this spot here, I had to put a floor and a wall launcher right there, just like that. So this is my platform. This ramp, oriented like this, will never break on you. And that's positioned. Uh, let's go to this corner, like this from here, edit it out like that, and put one of these walls right here. They never hit the ramp, they'll hit this wall. It's the only one you need. You don't need these two either. I just like to have multiple pathings so that if something breaks, there's backup. These two floor launchers 
are because of my AFK spot and some other people's AFK spots, they're, they're just going to stand in this corner, a lot of husks. So if I could push them up onto the uh, platform here, then they'll start walking toward me in this path, and they won't just stand there. They'll go to the geyser. Uh, so that's what those are for. And then my flinger shield looks like that. And then it's just a white walker's backboard. Oh, up here. Sorry. And we'll start it from up here so you can get a better understanding for how it goes. Full impact. Full impact. Uh, this should probably be four, so you're alternating reload. And then it knocks them into there. Or they turn around here. And these are all zero impact. Low damage. Four spikes and... Um, yeah, man. Put them on the platform. This uh, sound wall doesn't need to be here. It's just for fun. At this point, the... Uh, only pit touches this and they just want to go back to pit so that's fine you don't need any more crowd control at this point um, over here is for bridge and hill um, all the way around on this platform it carries all the way to the other side of bridge here and I'll show you how I did it and how it works uh, this green reload sound wall is pretty important because if it's not here for them to beat on, then they're going to beat on this floor. Uh, just one or two of them, just as they're squeezing each other through, they like to hit stuff on the way when they're too congested. And that's one reason I have all these walls lined up here, is because they will push each other into the lava, and also they hit these walls rather than the floors all the way to this path 100% of the time. Um, one time I seen a smasher down here and he broke this one time out of, you know, I haven't touched this one for a long time. Uh, ju just when I see a big meteor I'll, I'll add a structure uh, approximately to where I've seen the meteor go. Okay, so here we'll start block off this section like this if you want you can do less you probably don't even need anything here but I just want them all in the geyser quick fast wall dart wall darts do not go off sideways if they're standing against a wall like this so that's what these edited floors are for not so much for block off but just to kill them okay and then we have a full impact um, wall launcher. This thing just has increased build health to to keep them away from thinking about that wall. And then some gas if they're standing here for too long. Um, and yeah, it'll tickle them and tell them to go somewhere else for some husk types. Green reload sound walls. On top of that, I have increased build health. And then um, block off all the way to the amp. So I'm knocking them up, getting them the hell off the block off, and then pushing them onto the platform. I'm getting them onto the platform, all of them. You've seen this before. Uh, that last guy up there is for Big Meteor. Um, and then this here, I angled that ramp in hopes that they're going to kind of ricochet off this wall instead of going into the lava. So I'm alternating with reload times with the floor launchers and the wall launchers. I'm pretty sure all the wall launchers are uh, three impact, all of them, because I just want them close to that wall right away. And this this three impact will push them over that uh, lava and onto the platform. So this is a heavier damage. Uh, healing wooden floor spike and then underneath that I have an edited floor with a twisty ramp going this way just in case this ramp breaks because if this ever breaks then your whole build fails but uh, if you have an assassin app 
on bridge. They don't break this. Uh, yeah, they don't care about that one. They care about this wall right here. They they beat on it for a little bit, just a couple of them. But while they're doing that, they they die. Uh, if they get through, they'll break this floor, and they'll try to break this wall. But by that time, they'll be dead. And the other ones, the smart ones, the more common ones, are going to come this way to this wall, which they just get pushed, unfortunately, into the lava. I've made that decision. I don't want the, to risk the crowd control factor with these guys down here, which are, are back up. Usually blasters can get down here or things can get down here. So I have some uh, four impact, I believe, floor launchers, just knocking them onto this platform just to help them get to the geyser. And then um, this floor is taken out so that uh, smashers don't want to climb up and break your structures up here. Uh, and then on top of the normal amp design where I have my flinger shield kind of located on that side. Because um, I think if I put it on this side it'll encourage them to stand on this spot, which I don't see anymore. Not sure what my flingers do anymore at this point, but every time I had a problem, I just came back here and did my best to fix it. This is what I'm ending up with. Here's some anti-air traps. This is where the monitor is, so anything that lands on top of here from flingers will will stand here and die. Try to break that. And um, yeah, just the basic design, triangles and uh, pillars and that's how we send pit and bridge to the geyser I guess I better explain this part so once you get past the screen reload sound wall ramp up like this none of this breaks go ahead and place a wall here that never breaks okay so from here it's a two impact floor launcher double reload and then durability doesn't take damage, don't need healing. Uh, same thing right here, two impact, two durability, two reload. Um, and for this one, we want them going onto that ramp there, so three impact, two reload, and durability. And then for this one, you either make sure that this one has heals attached, you're gonna make it zero impact. Um, this is the wall that they're trying to break through to get back to bridge amp once they get up this path so we're instantly launching them down there where they can't get back up they're actually gonna either take the path down there into the lava geyser and get shot up onto the same platform or they're just gonna walk up this way onto that same platform where they can't get back now they're locked up here four tiles high with the rest of the platform that all leads to the ridge geyser here is also uh, a trapped location the mini bosses on lava are actually going to come here and kill themselves or do a TP loop some funky amp design over there I'll show you in a minute alright so from this point this is probably the easiest way to explain how to build it so go to the geyser. One, okay, so one, two, three, four, fifth, place a floor. This look this is kind of confusing down here. So floor, and then place four ramps up here. Edit this one so that they can't jump to the island. Place a floor, place a ramp so that you're four above the island, and then build this just like this. So here's the floor at the top of the fourth floor, edit this guy, place a wall, floor, floor, ramp with a high damage, the only thing that touches this is a smasher, because he's not height restricted, he'll keep recycling himself, and then just keep doing this until he eventually dies, that's what the smasher on lava does, and everything else will, walk. just kidding, they'll walk to here and then they'll turn around, because they'll momentarily path to you. As soon as a husk is bumped, pushed, ticked with a gas trap, uh, 
any kind of anything, they're going to look at you sometimes, and they're going to say, oh, there he is, who did that, let's get him, for a second, and they're like, oh, screw it, he's too far away, let's go to the objective and do what we're supposed to do, do what the Storm King told us. Yeah, anyways, so build this like this, this is um, six f ramps like this, and then a floor, and a floor here. Uh, don't try placing a floor here because it's just gonna break it anyways. They need they need somewhere to go, so they're gonna go into the uh, lava geyser. We'll get into lava right after this one. Maybe even hill. All right, yeah, hill. Since we're here, okay. So behind this wall launcher, we have heals attached broadside, whatever it can be, anything with healing, and then uh, another floor launcher another ramp this is going to be full impact because why not and then above that ramp we have another ramp attached to this wall that has uh, three impact and heals attached and then on the back of that we have increased build health and then another layer here and this ramp like this right here and what that's going to do is give some incentive for these guys not to break this stuff. They're just going to walk up here and do some weird stuff. That's for hill assassins in general that I'm talking about. They like to climb this and walk over to me. Okay, hill. Here's a flinger spot. This is White Walker and Tui's design. It's a god sent from heaven. Um, here's the block off. Got a heavier damage wooden floor spike with healing there, and then a heavy damage. Heavy damage. This is a temporary flinger spot. He'll come here, throw once, and then go to a new spot. So just heals attached on this, and then uh, a taco chip like that. And then we're going to go with barely any damage floor spike here, and then this one, probably a zero impact. This one, I would go three, so that they land right on that platform. And smashers, maybe, will get knocked down here too. Smashers are actually going to walk up here, walk straight to us, and go right to the AFK spot, right into the geyser on wave uh, 29. Uh, many bosses will just do what many bosses do. Uh, walk around in circles and do nothing. Okay, so this one, uh, three impact, of course. Duh. And then uh, these floor launchers are full impact, and then we got it attached to that. I'm, I'm not sure, I don't pay much attention to what I'm watching, I just see it and then I'm like okay I could do that so I come and build it like I'll watch the video and this is how I got mine it's exactly uh, like it so this is four impact heels attached um, this is three impact and that's gonna knock them over this wall into this side I'm only knocking them onto this side I'm not pushing them close to the geyser I don't want that much traffic over there um, yeah, here's the my floors, the way I got mine to work. Uh, I think I tried the other way and it just it wasn't working for me. And I got a gas trap there because some things like to stand right here sometimes. Just the baseball guys. I guess they walk here and stand here. Try to break this with by throwing baseballs at it. It's not very smart. So this is increased build health on this side, on the uh, west, and then on the east is just a dynamo on the other side. Uh, this is the false pathway back up to hill from the lava geyser. It's the false path, and attached to that I have a floor launcher here, where they like to either go this way or they'll go this way into that recycling system. That's zero impact, that's zero impact, and so is that and they land on the platform. So, this is uh, probably
probably four impact. Three or four. Four impact for sure. And then this is, uh, whatever, zero. And then we can make this an alternate reload speed of whatever this is, minimum of three impact. And then this will be, I don't know, one to five, whatever you like. This guy can be zero impact. And this is how I have this edited, so what's going to happen, the ones that uh, want to come this way, they'll try to break this wall, but they'll end up getting launched. And if, uh, if they get through, they get through. If they get through, which they won't. Uh, this is pretty good pretty good design. Okay, so I've covered this platform pretty well, I'm pretty sure. You'll be able to build it from there. Now let's go to uh, Lava Amplifier. We'll start at the um, we'll start at this side. There's a flinger spot uh, exactly right there. You could either put that there or you can add um, a bit of a shield right here, but I'd rather just locate them and encourage them to come to the, their favorite spot, which would be right here. Okay, so here's the block off. It's uh, basically an exact copy of White Walker's block off. Uh, right here I have four impacts with heels attached for those, and then this is just a double reload with heels attached. This is the um, floors is four and then put these structures in here just like this too. Uh, one might break, one or the other might break. So in here we have heels attached gas traps underneath and that's it for the traps. Now let's do some layers. So cones on top of those, then walls. I'm gonna go over this once with you and probably never again. The sheeting on this side of the wall. On the other side of the wall, there's studs. If I'm anything and I kick this side of this wall in reality, I'm going to be able to knock that sheeting off. So therefore, this side of the wall is weaker. Okay? Now when I upgrade it to tier 2, it's the exact same situation. There's going to be studs on this side, and then sheeting will start to develop on this side, um, and not on the other side. Okay. So I'm not going to guarantee that your builds are going to work unless you do it <laughs> just like this, just like I have, especially for Lava Amp. Um, when you upgrade it to Tier 3, the way to tell which side the sheeting is on, you're going to see a 9. Can you see the nine? Can you see the nine? Right there? Nine? And on the other side, you're going to see a six. So six is less than nine. All right? Just keep that in mind. You can rotate your walls, and you can also rotate your floors. See how the joists go this way, it's actually stronger in certain ways. And you might have bugs where they won't walk up a natural ramp, but what it actually is, is the way your floor is rotated. So if they're not walking up somewhere and they're kind of glitching out, break it and rotate it. And that should fix your problem. So for the top here, I have a assassin box. This gets used up a little bit. Um, I definitely recommend it. This is helping shift the lava bomb. And I have a green reload here, and a dynamo here, and a wall launcher here, encouraging them to just stay off the block off. Okay. I have no cross walls like this, courtesy of White Walker, teaching me how to do block off. In behind here, all my floors are edited all the way across. Alright, give you a better view. Oh, sorry, we're not there yet. Yeah, ramp for a wall. Okay. This is where we're going to shift the lava bomb. You're going to edit three floors like this. Boom, boom, boom. Next is a layer. 
but it only acts as a layer if you actually have a wall right here but uh, for some reason I don't have any problems so I don't actually have to add a wall there because I guess this is just enough layer so all nines <laughs> OCD as a carpenter in real life all the sheeting is on the side that you need to be strong so underneath every single one of these floors is I mean uh, ramp sorry is floors edited out these two corners all the way mine ends uh, so mine ends here at this point and then I extend it again over here you don't need a wall here but you need walls here and then ramps and floors I I know that there's cheaper ways to do it but I don't take risks like that so I just add every single linear layer that I can um, and it's actually pretty cheap considering what it does no damage using both geysers uh, sending them all to the ridge okay so here's behind all of it it's where it gets a little bit more complex so we'll try to slow down um, these floors are floating here if you place ramps here they're not going to do anything so I put my floors like this and then underneath it I edited the opposite way just theoretical to me that if a husk breaks it here then he's going to land underneath here and there's another layer for him to calculate I don't have ramps here because it'll actually do wor more worse than good down here it's just going to give them something to climb onto and and skip the floor and just get right to the wall and it won't do anything so that's why everything is oriented the way it is um, depending on how close we're getting to the amplifier that's my amp design I learned it from Ale like almost a year ago uh, that if you place structures like this the way I can explain it to you is that a mini boss actually thinks that this is a floor and he can break this wall behind it but there's no floor underneath it so he's actually going to try to climb up onto here if you have it uh, without a bridge like this he'll actually just teleport onto this and then jump on the amp go back to the ground and teleport over and over again but in my case I've linked it to uh, Mitch Rob's style bridge and um, I'm sending him up onto that platform uh, when this happens with the lava mini boss, they're just going to teleport back to the amp anyways and then walk back to the geyser over and over. But if they're on that side, they get launched up onto the platform, they take a long walk down to that ramp and then they kill themselves in this spot that I explained earlier. Um, some strange things happen due to this amp design. You only actually need to have it on this one side. But I put another one on this side just to see what would happen. And, um,. Okay, it's the weirdest thing ever. All the east side split um, husks totally skipped out on walking up this. They were actually walking all the way over here from lava just because I made a slight change on my amp design. And they were taking this path all the way from valley side <laughs> and walking into this and taking damage and dying. <laughs> and then going to lava amp it's a strange strange amp design so now they're taking this ramp right here on wave 28 they're gonna you're gonna see exactly what I'm talking about when this ramp is gone from the UFO if, if you have this amp design which is like part assassin uh, the smashers are just gonna uh, if they ever get here they're just gonna charge the amp um, for the block off here this is the last place that you can place walls and then uh, for some reason these ones don't do anything for for smasher aggro they don't, they don't care with these balls they just want to get through this arch somehow uh, you definitely don't need a defender pad here but this is shifting the lava bomb and uh, defenders are awesome for testing they do exactly what a husk is going to do to get back to their objective so right now he's uh... he's cruising man He didn't quite make it to the geyser, but he would have hit it. 
Yeah, so use defenders for, for testing. It'll save you a lot of time to see if your husks are going to despawn. So if he's going to stand up there, that means he's going to despawn. Right? Also for uh, testing corners where you think you might need block off or something like that. Uh, let me explain this somewhere. Um... Take a look. It, it, usually, like on a natural ramp, where they come up to like a, a corner here, like this. Let's say that you have a wall here. You want to know if they could path right here, right? All you got to do take something like this. Give it a path back up. Place a floor here. Now you want to see if he could path there right so we're gonna block this off uh, like this completely well obviously he can get down but can he get back up so we're actually gonna have to make the make this like this we'll, we'll place him uh, there like that and we'll see if he'll walk I know this is a crazy process right now but I'm just showing you we're gonna drop him into this um, we're gonna drop him down he here to see if he wants to oh man you know what I'm getting at you want to place the defender so that he can get back to his defender pad when you drop him in the box <laughs> man, I, I just can't explain it very well right now I can't think of how to do it but I'm just telling you that uh, it's a good way to to test if you're if you're a professional builder. Um, if you're just here for the build, then let me get back to it. Okay, we're at home base. Uh, one of my personal favorites. All right, we'll start by wrapping the whole thing with walls. You might not have to if you can solve the leak issue. But what I mean is that. Uh, I don't want to add too many structures here, so the couple things that do hit the floor and then ricochet down here, there's a couple wall spikes. Th those are the target walls. And then it happens again over here. Uh, the reason that, that that will happen is because of where they're hitting the ramp, right? So if I look up, they're going to hit that side of the ramp, they're more likely to hit the floor. If they're on this side of the ramp, they're going to go in that box. So we're going to place pillars and stuff like this to make sure that they're on this side of the ramp to ensure that they get knocked onto the sky bridge. Okay, that's how that works out. Okay, so this is um, the north side. There's all your block off, or the, uh, yeah, north. Okay, so start here by placing wall, wall, green reload, green reload, green reload. Um, here's what it looks like behind it. The reason that there's one here, and it's not just block off, is for Ridge Assassins and Devil North Assassins. So they can get launched into the geyser. I'll explain that later. Um, for now, all you need to know is that this one's a full impact. This one's a four impact. Then we go back to full, and then we do four again. We don't need a pillar here to keep them on the inside because they're coming from here. They're going to be on this side of the ramp, right? Sometimes it'll get congested on like a higher wave. So I have this opened up. Um, so what's going to happen is that uh, they're all going to fill in here. Not all of them are going to get sent up by one floor launcher. It'll only send up a certain amount at a time. So we have this open so that they can spread out and both of these become target walls, which has green reloads and heals attached and increased building health on the other side because they're target walls and we don't use bases okay so once you wrap this thing in a box build a 2x2 two two here build another 2x2 two two right here just like that you're going to come here place a wall and a floor and then place three ramps from there from there place a ramp and a ramp and a wall the reason we don't have another ramp here is because they can walk onto it and it won't work so this is flinger protection and also flinger protection 
Okay. So from that third high one, come down here and uh, fill this all in too high all the way to over here. And what this is all going to do is force all of the flingers to one spot, which is over here, where they will die. Um, whatever, whatever you like here, and whatever you like here. And a freeze trap, place it down this way, obviously. A piece of block off here, and a piece of block off here, because their other favorite spot is right here. What we have right here is for the East Assassins. They're going to come up this way to me in my AFK spot. And here's a wall launcher. That's going to send them into this massive backboard, which from that point is six tiles high. And from the top down, it's seven tiles. And below that is the ramp geyser, where they will either hit that ramp and get knocked onto this platform, or they will keep bouncing continuously, or they will get... I already explained that. Alright, so we're going to go... 4 or 5 impact. 4 or 5 impact. 5 impact, and 0 impact. This is directly above the geyser area, right here. And on that zero impact, you're going to have a full durability tar pit, preferably a lower level, so that you're not killing anything. Because wave one, they're really sensitive. You don't want to have heavy damage anywhere. Okay. Um, let's go over here where it'd be easier to explain how to build. So I filled this all in so that they don't leak over there. Uh, that's 4x3, obviously, jump up here. There's three floors, two walls over here, three roofs, three ramps attached to those roofs, and then uh, let's just finish the floors. From these three go one, two, three, four, and then from here do one, two, three, four, and behind this wall is a ramp like that. That's their pathway down. They all try to get to this spot right here. Okay. So let me show you the rest of this. Place four floors now. Um, one here, 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 and here. This corner floor here should be directly above your two sound walls, which are your target walls this guy. So from that uh, roof piece right here, put a ramp and then edit a taco chip like that. And then come over here, place your two walls and your roof and, and just like that. Okay. Uh, did I go over the impact of these here? I don't think so. So really low damage, wooden floor spike. This one has to be full impact. This one has to be full impact. And this one has to be full impact as well. And then this will be four impact with reload and heals attached. Very important to have the healing, just in case. So yeah, they get launched into the backboard, which contains this box right here. Uh, zero impact wall launcher that actually pushes them onto the platform not not down there and uh, this is heels attached and also heels attached just in case they run out of crowd control and want to break this stuff and also uh, if anything lands here they'll just die they'll get hit by that one as well so this is a uh, white walkers ramp amp It's another uh, God sent from heaven type build. It's crazy how it works so well and how little block off there is uh, com in comparison to like any other ramp amp I've really seen. 
it's the most efficient and very, very reliable. There's always the chance uh, that a smasher can actually uh, get past the recycling system, but they path perfectly to and through the recycling system. Okay, so we'll start here. Do this and um, put a high damage uh, wooden floor spike there with healing if you want. That's all I got <laughs> for that. And uh, fill it in like this. So it's three, four, five, six floors. One, oh, let's start here. Three walls. Uh, one thing like that. I'm not sure if that was in this design. I'm, I'm sure it is, though. Um, I probably got a whole bunch of stuff wrong on this, and I made one modification because of my AFK spot, the dynamo here. It could be a wall spike, probably better. Um, yeah, this will be a zero, and another zero impact, and then we increase it to, I don't know, one or two. Uh, check out White Walker's tutorial, and this it should probably be a three for the Smashers. They always get knocked down uh, at this point, um, and if not, then you're you're toast. Um, yeah, anti-air trap heals attached on this one, and then here's his uh, well Kirby's mini boss design uh, reduced structures. I'm sure. And then it's still White Walkers, so don't get me wrong. Uh, that's how you do the uh, amp sign, just four arches with a pillar connecting this for extra connection point. Okay, so here's the monitor. I have increased build health on this wall in particular to try to just steer them off to the, the weaker side, the trap side. I should also probably put one right here that'll probably solve a lot of issues. Uh, if the smasher gets past the recycling system, I'd rather him come through on this side as well, rather than breaking this wall. Usually he gets knocked down exactly right here onto the platform and then he'll mosey into the geyser. Or stand here. That depends how, how he feels or what color he is. Okay. Um, how to explain this lava shield come to this roof put a wall here edit a taco chip and then go too high from here by five five across um, behind the gas traps you're going to place four walls like that box it in make a two by four box and then put a row of walls down the middle of that and then come behind here and behind your three walls and fill it in like this these are your three wall launchers there fill it in like that because uh, that's how white walker has it and that's how it works like magic okay and then uh, so i have my lover system i i'm pretty sure i got it wrong because there's more structures for me and this is where my flinger stands he climbs up here and dies I said that already he goes through beach um, and if he gets knocked down through that recycling system he'll stand here or here flingers only need one small layer to be diverted they will take any alternate open path toward uh, their favorite locations which one would be right here So we come to this point, this uh, has heels attached, edit some stuff like this, you're going to put, a, I don't know, two impact, this will be two impact, two impact, one would work as well because only the little guys walk on here, they just, that's what happens, uh, heels attached on this one for the phasers. Um, and this this one I increased the impact for smashers. Uh, they get knocked down right here. I believe it's either three or four impact. And then this one uh, is also a three or four impact. This floor spike in particular is just healing. 
and this one is heavier damage and a gas trap here and this is where we start to do some more damage these are the target walls that they want to get to because they're the weakest layered okay um, this is where the flinger trash goes right above the computer so they were, uh, they'll either attack here or they will jump into this box and kill themselves on this wall spike you could also add more damage you need in this box if you like um, this is where the mini boss dances right here there's no floors underneath this but underneath these four pyramids facing the uh, south west um, there is floors diamond style like that all facing the same direction acting as a layer of diagonal block off and that's on all four of these guys this is where the dynamo is on this side um, because of my platform this is how I had to make my lobber shield which is attached to the uh, home base backboard so it goes one, two, three, four, five by two, and then a floor here. This floor is where my lobbers go underneath. So I have a heavier damage wooden floor spike with healing, a four impact reload, heals attached, uh, wall launcher to push them down into the uh, thing. But if they run out of crowd control, that's what this uh, wooden floor spike will do. It'll kill them eventually you might be good to put like a 106 or a level 77 gas trap right here so if it is standing on here it, it's more likely to die but it won't kill anything else you know what I mean alright so I have an anti-air trap here for that exact lobber right in his face and I don't think this wall launcher gets used so just put a layer here but that'll be a zero impact okay yeah they all get knocked onto the platform going to the geyser and uh, that should cover ramp amp because it's uh, <laughs> not a hell of a lot is it thanks white walker uh, alright I've done lava I've done hill right what am I missing I did bridge I went over pit. So what's last? Devil and Beach here. Did I did I show you Ridge as well? I don't know, man. I did this. Uh, <laughs> I did this during like uh, I was trying to do a recording to do a tutorial. So I've done this twice already today. Uh, my mic wasn't turned on, and I did it within an hour to make like a video with it but uh, I decided it'd be a better idea to just live stream it uh, my mic wasn't on that whole time and I was talking to myself uh, for an hour about things I already know okay let's try to get this done here devil amp this is uh yeah my most expensive build we'll start on the west all right Here's my block off. Here's my lava bomb. Those floors, how I got it in there, and these floors as well. I'm converging these spawns and these spawns into one path here, uh, which becomes four impact, one reload floor launchers. Um, the reason I'm pushing them this way is so that they're not despawning because the only path down is either over there in the north, which is too far away, or over there at the Devil to Geyser system, which is too far away if I go one more tile this way with the uh, sky bridge. So I had to bring this these husks up to two tiles high here, and then I put full impact floor launchers which sends them to six tiles high 
and the reason I had to bring them up here is because of that hill there and this ramp underneath me as well. The natural one. We've got to stay a minimum of four high and we don't want them despawning. So we had to keep this this short. We can even do a count here to show you how far I've extended my uh, thing to the path down. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, possibly fifteen uh, tiles long uh, for them to not despawn. But I think it also depends how close they are to the amplifier. So this entire path is like pretty close to the amplifier. Right, okay, so let's come back down here, show you the block off. Uh, no floors, green reloads, four impacts, pillar to keep them on this side of the ramps to ensure they all go up. Okay, and that's three of those. And then another full impact here. All of the crappy terrain is completely covered up and boxed in where I can box it in underneath. Uh, this is what I mean. And behind here is all the crappy stuff. I'm not editing that in fear of the uh, the, the bug. I'm not changing it. Okay, here's the north, but we'll get to that in a bit. More layers here behind it. And this is where the crappy terrain starts. Uh, I didn't know that wasn't upgraded. This is one of the flinger locations. How you find out a flinger location is the same as on Valley. Just go look at that and go one, two, three, one, two, and make sure it's available in this height in a smooth manner. You can't just get sloppy and add all these zigzag paths to their favorite spots. It won't work like that. You have to make it smooth. So uh, here's the other one right here. And these are for the west side. Nothing else should go here. They all want to break these walls. Only flingers. Possibly lobbers. Um, lobbers for me here, they stand right here on this tile. And then they break these walls first and then they eventually throw at that one which has heels attached. These are also just flinger incentive, these walls here, um, so that they're throwing it at these walls before they throw it at those walls, before they throw it at this here. And that's if they die. This would probably be hell for you to try to uh, learn how to build by looking at it the way I'm showing it to you. Um, so yeah, these three are too high. And then bring it up four high again. And then path them to that same location there. Uh, let me help you find this exact location. So from this here, go ahead and build a floor and a wall so you can connect it. And then we'll start from there. Ramp, ramp, edited like this so that they can't jump onto that stuff. Uh, these both have heels attached. Um, they should have both increased building health, if you can, and heels attached. So then, yeah, you're going to place um, three impact wall launchers right here. This one's low, low, no damage with heals. Uh, everything here should have healing. I don't have healing on this, but I haven't seen it break. Um, and this is the target wall that they want to break to get down. So you have all these traps, but this is in case they run out of crowd control. So from there, from your ramp up, go floor, 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 uh, floor, ramp, ramp, and this is how I have mine. Uh, let's see here. So this is the middle 
right here. I don't know, this makes it easier for you to copy it. You know what, you could actually just uh, go and build Shadow Gnome's Amp. Uh, it'll work for the same AFK spot and uh, it'll be less structures than this one. I'm pretty sure. This is just uh, like um, it's sending absolutely everything to the geyser. Uh, on, on the west and on the north I have a beach recycling system as well as the option to go to the geyser so we only get like three or four actually in the geyser from the north but everything over here in the geyser so this is going to be wide open for assassins to take this path here that we went over earlier some uh, bonus launchers for some phasing issues on Ridge. Okay, so this path is completely wide open. Inside this amplifier design is uh, it's an assassin similar to uh, valley, bridge, hill, you know, my, my C, if you don't, if you don't know the names. <laughs> All right. So, got it to work like great now, but I built this just in case you don't trust it. You can place a base here, and then I have arches uh, connecting to all the structures that will take damage, so you can fully connect it just to ensure. But uh, as for the north side, I only see like one or two uses on these floor launchers. They they get knocked up before they get to that point. Uh, I'll tell you that much. This side's wide open. I'll get to that in a minute. Let me try to show you this rough design here. These two wall spikes are for blasters. Um, there's no walls, no full walls touching the amp all the way around uh, it seems like it'll just fail for me um, I know you can actually close these walls up and you know do that but for some reason it just wasn't working for me and I don't have you know infinite time to test uh, so it'd be really really cool if we can keep this same concept but one of you can you know break it down to get the same thing to happen uh, but less structures. Okay, so I have all this edited flooring, and then this path right here is wide open, and this encourages, uh, I'm going to say, 80% of devil husks to just come straight into here. They don't go under here anymore because of all this encouragement. I learned this tip from White Walker's videos. His ramp amp and his hill amp has it, so why don't we try it here? Uh, and believe it or not, this will not break the lava bomb shifted underneath and they're going to elevate themselves up here knock themselves up onto that uh, dual option platform and you're going to build it you'll probably have a much easier time just kind of going off the layout on the ground for your sky bridge up there because that's hard to explain when you're not looking at the floor launches at the same time Okay, so we have some more of that encouragement rampage right here, uh, which, believe it or not, does not break at all. And then we have some more of that encouragement ramping here, and that's just a ramp and a taco chip. Okay, behind there I do have some block off. I don't know what those floors are for. I don't know why they're down there. Uh, I should break them and get the structures back. All you need is two floors right here to shift the bomb right here. And then you can go ahead and place these just like this. And they're going to walk right up into your trap. Okay, and that's that's only the ones that spawn over here. It's a very small percentage. Everything else is going to come up here to the wide open path. Flingers go here. This is their favorite spot. It's actually one tile off from their favorite spot, but I've uh, 
out of these three walls to make sure that they stand right here. Um, yeah, and also this to make sure that they get into this box. Uh, this would be their favorite spot right there, but it's on crappy terrain and they like it here just fine. I have a, a recent wave 26 happened on me. Uh, the flinger was standing here and there was a nurse healing him up from somewhere and he would not die. It was wave 26, I had to kill him. He was just breaking so much stuff. He actually throws at these walls and then at the uh, the ramp right there, which is actually not important. Uh, but after that's gone, the trash will start getting into the amplifier. So increase the damage a little bit more over here. If you're gonna try this build, you can even put another dynamo here. But I'm just gonna do one thing at a time and test one thing at a time until the issues uh, are solved. So yeah, here's the uh, path. You kind of want to leave this one open and this is where they'll, they'll walk up as well. And then start your floor launchers from here. One, two, three, four, five. And then a uh, full impact or four impact wall launcher right there. This is all wide open except for this floor that they got to stand and try to break before they can get in there. And by that time, these two wall darts should take care of them. Uh, which I would recommend putting double reload and increased building health on each one of these. All of them. Uh, probably switch those to wall darts as well. And then green reload on the other side. This is just a cubed off box just to uh, sp try to spread them around because I'm passing them straight to the center of the amp. And there's a a floor launcher right here knocking them up onto that tile there that's why it's kind of split off there and they'll either take this side now they're on the inside of the ramp where they can easily get knocked up or they'll come up onto this side and they're on the inside of the ramp where they can easily get knocked up they might go all the way over and keep running out of their crowd control but I might have a solution to that if it's actually happening um, if they're on the inside of the ramp like that it will hit the ramp, go over this wall, and uh, not bounce over by hitting this other wall. But um, I'll do more testing before I do anything like that. But yeah, this is how I got mine Devil to work great. We can come over here, I'll show you the uh, beach recycler system, how it's kind of set up. It lines up with this here, go ahead and place that, and then a floor there, or a ramp, sorry, a freeze trap, full impact, green reload. This is their pathway down, they'll want to try to break this, but they can't, they'll never break it. Um, yeah, full impact, and then make this a four, and then this a full, just so that they have alternating times, uh, because they con they're constantly kind of going off during the late waves. Not constantly, but you know, they get knocked down there and it's a, it's a cycle. You don't have to worry too much about the durability because then this one will start to get used up. You'll be alright. Um, yeah, something to slow them down before they hit them. And then from these three, we'll go one, two, three, fill these guys in. And one, two, edit this one. And that's uh, so they can't uh, path across onto this ramp and then jump onto the ground. Has to be like this, unfortunately. So it's 50 50, hit or miss. But it's still, uh, it's still an, a, a good try, you know what I mean? I got the same problem over here at this corner. I can't have it a full floor because they'll just jump over there. So I have to sacrifice a little bit of the floor launcher which is it's just fine everything is just fine this works good wave 26 north and west confirmed fully functioning flinger spots located app design working assassin paths working again here's the west assassin path 
this side is wide open it will go this way and straight into the ridge geyser from here including propane all the assassin types uh, the smashers kind of stand in a corner and do nothing on the west unfortunately and also unfortunately the smashers do take their path over here but <laughs> I'm not wasting all my structures making this block off thing because uh, the smasher will come here by the end of like wave 26 if they even spawn it's gonna break one gas trap and then it's uh, it's over no more worries so uh, it's f also fully AFK uh, north and west on wave 11 I have footage of both of those as well uh, zero damage four player difficulty on both north and west on wave 11 so it's super confirmed and that, that's why this is super thick right here for ridge amp there's still no floors but they're heavier layers uh, the walls and ramps have more health than edited floors anyways okay so that covers uh, everything I, I think uh, two wall spikes with heels here and then also there this is ridge amp again oh yeah I guess the one and only amp that isn't connected to all this is beach amp I might as well go over it because it's fully AFK on every wave uh, it's extremely basic and most of you probably have basically the exact same thing unless you're uh, th there's like uh, the ramp that uh, shadow gnome and fireburn use where they share beach that's quite a bit different than what I have here the beach is the uh, wave 7, 17, and 27 and during those waves I can go anywhere I want on my whole map and I don't have to worry about anything happening to this no matter where I go uh, it seems like if I'm right up in here then I have something to worry about I might start breaking some block off in here but uh, yeah man just the old mini boss design right there the five walls in, in that uh, placement no damage so that the mini boss will always dance uh, you, you don't want to put damage where the mini boss dances uh, depending on the husk type if he's taking damage here uh, he will just start breaking break that wall and he'll get pissed off he'll actually damage your amp back as well so this is the last place I can put my damage it's here 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 and um, for the lobbers I uh, coned that down like that because if I have a wall here uh, they kind of you know throw through it uh, white walker style tire traps to encourage the smashers to take the path down um, this one in particular is only durability no damage and then I go into big damage with these guys big crit build with one reload and then uh, tar pit three impact uh, two one impact and then a zero impact <laughs> why not okay and then uh, you can make this three impact if you like and then you can make this uh, three or four impact if you like okay um, I'll try to explain this side exactly the same as it was when Ale left it a long time ago this is four in I, I added these because of my AFK spot you might need them um, it's for the assassins my AFK spot is over there so they might want to try to break this wall but this will tickle them and they'll take the path um, so this is four impact heels attached with a reload all three of these this one's just a zero impact keep them going uh, I would recommend lowering the reload speed on this one maybe it doesn't even matter really you can put whatever you want on this a anything you want okay this is the path uh, lobber shield unfortunately lobber shield unfortunately 
uh, I think I made this one zero impact just so they get plopped into the water right there. And then um, this doesn't have to be here, but the ramp does, but the floor spikes don't. Okay, this is how we shift our lava bomb and also how you connect this whole thing. So maybe start that from here. <laughs> All right, here's some block off and another lava bomb shifter. These two floors, we'll, we'll make that happen. No floors under this. Wrap that up. Build a box right here, nothing in it. And then you can put a zero impact floor launcher, or wall launcher, sorry. And a low damage wood floor spike. Um, down here, you're going to want to place uh, five walls just so that uh, when they path back up, they're not going to take this path or break these uh, two floors here, which I'm using to extend my path to get greedy and use uh, three wall launchers instead of just two. So I'm constantly pushing them over to this side a little bit more with more and more block off. So, try to make more sense of it. Um, here's the cave. Wall ramp, wall ramp, wall ramp, all the way to the end. Um, here's the block off here. You need three layers here just for flingers. Uh, assassins don't come this way for me because I'm way over there. Uh, so I have seven layers total up to here. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, and the outer shell is seven. And that'll stop anything from wanting to take this path. Here's how my block off looks here. I do have floors under this last two, just because I had to add another layer. Uh, yeah, if something fails, just add another layer, that's my rule of thumb. Alright, so I got that, and then yeah, this is wide open as well, because it's for my ramp flinger. Okay, so for the block off here and the lobber shield, I guess uh, you can start right here, go too high, four, one... Two, three, four, five, six, seven across, and then on the eighth one, do a bend. Place another one. Do a, a fingertip, <laughs> then make another taco chip, and then make ramp, 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 and then at this point you're gonna add another one, and that's what I'm looking at there. Is a flinger angle. And then another one is because of that floor right there. You need protection there. And then uh, here, man, I had an issue where they were actually breaking this block off to throw. So I had to add these two layers as well. That was just me, man. I know you guys got all these cheap beach amps, but like this has been working for me perfectly for a very long time. Kind of. Back and forth changes here and there but it's always been my most reliable never have to worry about it um, it's basically like the trump there's absolutely nothing down there uh, nothing at all down there all the way back up because it takes longer than 30 seconds so you don't you don't need anything to slow them down down there just let them take their natural path back up and back down did that do justice, man? Uh, this needs to be blocked off for flingers, and you actually do need a wall right here. Uh, because they'll throw through this little hole if you don't have a wall there, unfortunately. Um, yeah, man. And then this block off here should look like this. No floors. Doesn't have to look exactly like that. You can do it however it works for you. That's how I got mine. And I think uh, that's basically the whole tutorial, man. There's one more thing I want to go over. Smashers, wave 25. 
you could stand from here all the way to directly above the Kaiser and they will path to the Kaiser so um, any further this way they'll stand underneath you but if this is the furthest away you can be where they will still try to take the pathway up to you through the Kaiser um, any further this way yeah they'll stand underneath you and eventually despawn and then respawn and you run the risk of them having to come back through your valley again and if something happened there you're missing a pillar or something then they will bust your stuff up all right so just stand about here uh, I don't think you need a base anymore because of uh, what Toldus told me with the editing the ramp like that not having it full because they could skeet around the geyser here so um, yeah yeah man this is the AFK spot defender you can add traps in here for takers if you like uh, for wave 11 uh, storm shield they will come at you but all you really need is your banner and speaking of banner there's also another thing I want to go over um, okay there's a few things here what the hell is this and like like what's a bull coupling time dilation like it's, it knows that I don't have a keyboard it's not detected husk spray this has nothing to do with what I'm talking about but I want to show you how to uh, modify your endurance quite heavily you can have some fun with this so make sure you're on public which I am uh, and then here's the ones that work you go to custom war games here's the ones that work for endurance Hexed. This one's a little bit tricky. You have to time it properly when you're when you're doing it. Like when you invite people in, you have to try to make sure that at least two people are in, but not one person has joined for this one to work in particular. Uh, so what happens with hexed for all 30 waves? Um, at the beginning of each wave, you're gonna get the skull above your head, and you're gonna take constant damage until you die. And if you keep getting revived by your friends, you're just gonna keep dying. It's hilarious. And then, uh, yeah, if you just let yourself die and then respawn, it'll go away. But at the very beginning of the very next wave, it'll come back. But uh, for the Storm Shield owner, um, you don't get it until you die. So it's super interesting. Everybody else has it they have this curse <laughs> but you don't have the curse alright that's hexed double trouble um, it doesn't actually do anything that I noticed but it says on the screen that the smashers are mutating during your endurance and it shows that to everybody um, hot spots doesn't work denied doesn't work torn apart does not work space rocks doesn't work invasion unfortunately does not work that would be crazy and uh, nothing else works except for hexed and the double trouble uh, text that's that's it but the hexed is awesome and uh, so close quarters doesn't work rolling fog is a good to go man uh, you can play your whole endurance in complete darkness uh, if you want and you can actually stack all these different modifiers um, yeah this is crazy at the beginning of each wave it turns into complete darkness and then during the break it all brightens back up again it makes it really tricky to navigate through your tunnels and stuff like that and see what's going on but uh, if you really know your tunnel well you can play this pretty well I do it all the time uh, surprise doesn't work unfortunately no build zone uh, I think it does work I haven't tried it I'm pretty sure it works because uh, trapped out works you start this one up man your whole endurance for all 30 waves all your traps are gone but you have the frames of your tunnel so you can completely dry run all your things and use things like uh, the, uh, the impact launchers instead of wall launchers and try to send them into your recycling tunnels it's a lot of fun uh, if, if you get bored of you know whatever so what I'm saying, you can do all these, I think, four different uh, 
things and kind of have an ultimate endurance going on. So all you have to do, pick the two you want, quickly start it, enter this, go to endurance, and cancel it. Boom. So now it's cancelled. Uh, nobody really plays war games, so nobody's going to join you at the time. So now uh, Hexed and Darkness should be... Rolling Fog, yeah, should be active. See, so he can't turn it off. So as soon as I start it, those two things are going to happen. If I want to add more uh, things, like Trapped Out or just get the Smasher Mutated text, then I do that exact same thing I just did again. Alright, now I just want to show you one more thing. It's what uh, Toadless showed me. I'm actually going to start it up. This will be the end of the video. We're going to go under the map, and I'm going to take you to a cavern that shows you different pathways that the husks uh, are able to take back up. Um, oh, it's going to be in complete darkness, so it's not going to work out. But yeah, that's the entire build. Unfortunately, uh, I'm not going to show you under the map today. Because I forgot I... Uh, Put a modifier on. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching, I guess, the stream. And uh, if you have questions, if I missed anything, if you don't understand something, or maybe even if you need the traps and you've built the whole thing, I can help you out and answer all your questions. Uh, peace out. Thanks. Oh yeah, I gotta end the stream, not my game. Yeah man, hopefully it was uh, helpful, for you, helpful for you.